Hey guys, it's Melissa from Cajun Sugar Pie, and in today's video, we are working on some uh, Thanksgiving meal prep. We're gonna make some pies and some rolls that we can do ahead of time to get ready for the big turkey day. So, although we're not having turkey, we're having pork, but anywho. First up, we're gonna be making pie dough, and this is a big batch pie dough that makes five crusts. So I want to make sure that I divide the pie dough evenly, so I'm going to divide it into five portions, and to do that, I'm going to weigh, and I want to try and get between nine and ten ounces for each. So I'm going to measure this one, and then I'm going to uh, divide the rest in four equal portions. With each portion that I've weighed, I'm going to make a round disc and wrap in plastic wrap, and then I'm gonna put those in the refrigerator for at least two hours before I move on to making the rest of the pies. I'm gonna be doing three pies, pie crusts today, so the other two portions I'm going to freeze. Anytime you put anything in the freezer, you always want to label and date it so you know when you made it and um, you can make sure that you use it up before it goes bad. This particular crust I'm using for the sweet potato pecan pie, so I just need a bottom crust for this one, so I am going to roll out that bottom portion and um, make it look pretty.
So this is for an apple pie and it's going to be a two crust apple pie. The bottom portion here, you don't have to make it pretty because we're gonna do that in a second after we've put, after we've put the top layer on. baked apple pie. Doesn't it look delicious? Now onto the sweet potato pecan pie. And this recipe is from Paul Prudhomme, which is um, one of my favorite chefs. I actually got to meet him when I was in culinary school, so that was pretty cool. And um, funny story, uh, apparently um, my mom makes this every year, and I didn't know that or remember that I guess and we were talking about making pies for Thanksgiving and she asked what I was doing I said oh I'm gonna make this awesome uh, sweet potato pecan pie that I saw that was a Paul Prudhomme recipe and she's like I make that every year so anyway it was super funny and um, great story sorry mama now obviously all of these sweet potatoes are not for the pie I'm only using a cup of the mashed sweet potatoes to make the pie and then the rest is going to go into a sweet potato casserole that I'm going to make later. to the cranberry sauce. Now, I like using brown sugar in my cranberry sauce. I usually just use whatever the recipe is on the bag and I'll substitute brown sugar instead of regular sugar. I also like to use either lime or lemon juice in addition to um, the water that it calls for. And I'll post a link to all these recipes in the description below. I'm portioning out honey wheat rolls here and I completely forgot to record that part. So um, you're just gonna see the portions here and then I'm going to bake them up and they'll be ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Thank you. 
thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like or comment below, and um, I'll see you guys next time.